So <clears throat> I think this is a, a, a very interesting way to see the increase in the frequency of DDoS that, that Akamai observes. So this, if you look, is basically you know, over the last roughly two years. Uh, and as you can see, the density increases significantly as you move to the right. So we see uh, roughly a doubling in the, the frequency of DDoS attacks uh, year over year. Uh, and a lot of this is driven these days by the availability of uh, booter sites or uh, DDoS as a service. Uh, so for example, if, if you were to visit uh, booter.xyz, so DDoS extortion. So you know, the, what the attacker will do is uh, you know, basically send a DDoS for a very short period of time, stop that attack, and then send a, uh, an extortion or ransom note uh, demanding payment in bitcoins, uh, or else there'll be a threat of further attacks. Um, so we see you know, quite a bit of those. There was a, a very popular group that, that called themselves DD4BC, DDoS for Bitcoin. Uh, they like payment in Bitcoin because it's very difficult for banks to track Devices that are actually committing the DDoS against them are internet connected refrigerators, right? Which is uh, sometimes surprising to people when uh, they see that they're being attacked. And, and part of that is a, a botnet has been constructed using uh, some of these devices within home networks. Um, because again, the patching of those devices is not always uh, quite as sophisticated as you'd like. So we have certainly seen that, uh, that trend emerge. Uh, it inspired copycats. So we're seeing more activity now. Uh, that we even did with TD4BC. There's a group that called themselves the Armada Collective, and we have a write-up on that on the Akamai page. There's quite a bit of publicity, but we're seeing a tremendous amount of activity uh, these days uh, following the Armada Collective, uh, kind of picking up that same uh, technique. But they went after, uh, but e-commerce was also very popular. Um, I think e-commerce has a reputation of paying the extortionists more frequently than some of the other industries, so they certainly get targeted. Uh, and again, this is sort of what you see. They will make claims here. Uh, we don't see anything close to that type of capacity from these attackers. They're using uh, typically commodity-based booters. So you may see 50 gigabits a second, which is usually enough. Uh, but you're not going to see the 400 that, 